All right, this is a 79 uh, 10 bolt 8.5 rear end with the fourth gen uh, brake upgrade. All I did was go down to a junkyard, uh, found a fourth gen, it didn't matter V6 or, or V8 or anything like that, and I pulled the entire uh, rear end off, or the brake parts here. And this whole section here is uh, fourth gen, including all this. It's still dirty because I haven't cleaned anything up. The, the hose is also from the fourth gen. It was just a, um, uh, this one actually ends up being threaded. I ended up getting two uh, different cars. I don't remember if they were, one was Camaro and one was Firebird. Um, but I got two sets because I wasn't sure if we were going to need a right, a right and a right or a left and a left or what I was going to need. All right. And it was pretty cheap, I think 150 bucks. I got two sets of these. Um, this part here, all this. Um, and uh, some other things. I got a, um, a hydraulic booster for stuff. I ended up paying 150 bucks for a lot of stuff. Uh, I went ahead and painted. Oh, I close. Went ahead and pulled out. Pulled this out while I had this out of the car. I went ahead and painted it. Uh, it's POR 15 uh, paint. Um, I got new new stainless steel brake lines. I got a new um, um, steel braided line for that. So all this would be um, completely redone with good brakes. I had to I had to readjust this where it, it came across here a little better than it did. It was all jammed over this way and it was. Um, I'm sorry, it was all jammed over that way, and I ended up having to short it here uh, to get it to pull over to where it looks a little more new. And I was like, cut too much because uh, I screwed up once. Um, these ends right here, uh, two of the brakes that I got did not have a thread end type. All right, it was just uh, some kind of clamp piece of like a, here somewhere. Don't mind my mess. This is the uh, extra parts bin. All right. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It does thread in there. You can see it there. All right. This is all the stuff that I got. Um, extra calipers. This is, and it had to be spaced out. This is the original from the 79. I needed a spacer um, to get it to line up. To break the line up uh, in the middle here, uh, in here. But as tires off, I show a little better. But uh, this piece here wasn't centered over the the rotor itself, while the rotor was all the way down. Uh, so I wanted this to be I wanted this to be as close to center, um, equal play on both sides of the rotor that it was sitting in the middle of. Um, so it required me to make a spacer. And uh, the cheapest spacer I could find, I could only find one, was um, like 50 bucks. And I didn't see a reason to spend 50 bucks. I ended up actually buying, I rigged this up, a um, huge washer. I'll throw it around here. Ended up getting a rather large washer. This is the washer that went out on hardware stores. An eighth inch thick, huge washer. All right, I got two of them. All right, and that's what I did. With the first one. Now, after I did all this work, grinded it out, used a grind, uh, a die grinder to get it all out in the middle. Uh, I had to take off the top part here to uh, because part of the brakes was was hitting it. Part of the, the thing in here, this part right here. All right, this part right here was hitting it um, when it's sitting there like that. So when I after I put it all together, uh, it wasn't quite enough pushing it out that way. Um, all right, this was at uh, an eighth inch, and come to find out the um, the original brake calipers that were the plate that was there is uh, three sixteenths. Uh, so it was just a little bit wider. I ended up cutting one of those um, and sticking it in there. Because um, it was all dirty and stuff, you could see the outline of where this flange, sorry, where this flange um, 
was butted up against it. So all I did was cut along that line and then stuck it in there. Then it was damn near perfect. Um, so I didn't mess with the past that. I cut the other one and tried it on the other side. It was the same thing. Um, so I went with it. Uh, it all came together pretty good. I went with the break in the back side of this because I wanted the, the blader needs to be up. To some people that may not be a problem. All right. But when the shock is in place, oh uh, well. We'll see it. if you can see the. I'm hoping that the shock will go right, right next to this guy. And if not, all right. Come back and focus. And if not, I plan on moving it in in inward just a little bit to clear that. And if I can get it to ride right through here, um, I'll roll with it. Uh, that's without uh, having to relocate the um, the shock on this one side. Uh, other than that, uh, I've seen one of the guys have to um, grind out part of the bottom part of this uh, bracket here uh, to get it to clear. But as this is all the way flat, you can see I'm not really going to run into too much interference. Other than just the shock, you know, and the shock is already kind of angled the way it's angled up and out this way. And if I can get it just to sweet it, talk its way on past all that, right? Then I'll be in business, right? This would be the this is a 12 inch rotor on a 79 going on a 79 transam. This is the transam, it's a ugly round. And I've also Made the modification to the front uh, spring perch. Um, I went ahead and put these tabs in. I will, you move it up three quarters of an inch, and I weld the uh, wa just weld the washer on it to give it some support so it wouldn't tear anything. That's what a lot of guys are telling me. Uh, cut the window out and made sure it fit all the way down onto the spring, and that could put the the bolt through, and it could. So uh, everything else here looked fine. Right, did the both of them. And that's it, pretty soon we'll be putting it in the car. So if anybody has any questions about putting a uh, fourth gen brake disc upgrade into the um, one of the back of their car, right? It's pretty simple, right? There's that much room still left. And these are uh, 17 inch year one um, snowflake uh, rims for uh, for you know, transparent so again that's how much room they leave you All right, plenty of room actually when I stuck it in here I thought it was kind of small so, so there's the uh, there's the rim size so, so yeah so I did not relocate uh, the shock as of yet and again, it's not in the car yet. Uh, and this one here sits in, in the front. Oh. Right, this one's sitting in the front, so it's it's completely out of the way on this one. Uh, again, I bought some stainless steel lines from off of eBay. I got this off of eBay. Uh, this whole thing off of eBay here. Um, and I just had to cut it a little bit. But other than that, it looks looks pretty damn decent in there. I'm gonna be happy with it, stainless steel, stainless. So, and I do plan on pump, uh, painting that before it goes in and cleaning up them brakes and get them painted. All right.